One day she said, write me a love song Cause I know you'll make it beautiful And maybe I'll call you my sweetheart And promise nobody can steal me away Then I am yours Cause I want you and I wanted you to know He looked at her and then he smiled Picked up a pen and paper And started writing Probably something about her eyes Hey guys, welcome back to another day of November. Today is day 13 and today is going to be 20 of my current obsessions. Honestly, I really dug deep for this one, thought about all my favorites and I'm gonna share everything with you. I definitely recommend every single thing on this list. Like literally, I do use these things every day or at least several times a week. So these are actually things that I'm currently obsessed with. I don't remember if I've ever done a video like this. I think I have maybe in 2020 at some point, but I really thought hard about what things I would want to put on this list that I would recommend to a friend. So here we go. I wrote them all down on my phone. All right, number one is my wavy hair in general. I am obsessed with having my hair wavy and using my hair waver. I got this one off of Amazon. Let me grab it. This is what it looks like. I'm obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with how easy it takes for really long hair, especially curling my hair, straightening my hair is a process. Using this takes me maybe five minutes, which is crazy considering how long my hair has gotten that it takes so little time. So this is definitely my favorite way to wear my hair if I'm gonna wear it down lately. And I absolutely love it. It was only, I wanna say between 20 and $30 on Amazon. So definitely check it out if you're interested. So continuing with the same kind of category is my mascara. So I've been the type of person who has tried a million different mascaras tried ones that were expensive, tried just drugstore ones, have not found a mascara that I consistently liked over a long period of time. I've had times where I've really liked certain kinds and then they just fade away, they don't last very long, etc, etc. And now I think I might have found my all-time favorite that I will always continue to use. This is Maybelline New York Lash Sensational Sky High Mascara. Um, I have the waterproof kind. I don't know what color. It's a type of black, but this is what it looks like. And honestly, this mascara, first of all, I like that it really makes my lashes feel super long, which is hard to do because I feel like I have semi-short eyelashes. So I love that it makes my eyelashes feel long. I feel like it stays all day. It's like really waterproof and really... I don't know the right word for it, but it really sticks to my eyes. Like it, it has to be removed at the end of the day. It's not like already mostly gone, which I really appreciate. I also really like the wand that comes with it. It's like a longer, a longer wand. I don't know if you can see it, but I really, really like it. And it's definitely in my top ever mascaras. And I think it might be one that'll be around for quite some time. All right, next in the beauty category is dry shampoo. Specifically, the one that I've been using is the Aussie Bounce Back Dry Shampoo. So this is what it looks like. And this, I have really, really loved. I have tried a couple of different dry shampoos at different periods of my life, and I never really liked them. I felt like they didn't really do much for my hair, and I felt like I just didn't like the smell of them, didn't like the texture I gave my hair. And this one specifically, since I've been using it, I have actually really liked. I don't use it every day. I probably use it like maybe once or twice a week, but I just really like this brand. I feel like it smells really nice, which I appreciate. And also it doesn't give a weird texture to my hair, which is part of the reason why I don't like most dry shampoos. But I definitely recommend if you're looking for a dry shampoo to try. So next I thought we would move on to some of the more like fashion items. 
my first one that I could think of was these jeans I got from Target. I will insert a video and the name of these jeans. They are kind of more of like a vintage fit jean and I'm obsessed with them. Like they're a little short, so I do kind of wish they made it for longer legs and had that option when I bought them. However, I still really love them. I think they're so, so, so cute and they really give the vintage vibe that I'm looking for when I wear them. So I do really appreciate them and I got them from Target. And then another thing kind of in the fashion realm is this necklace. This is a necklace from Ana Luisa and it's just like a solid gold heart. It's the whole necklace is actual gold. Um, and I really like this brand, Ana Luisa. I feel like I've heard a lot of good things about them. They're very sustainable and I just feel good about this jewelry all the time. Like if I work out in it, if I shower in it, it's not going to lose its shine or anything like that. I just wear it 24 seven. So if you guys are looking for some really cool jewelry to check out, definitely check out Ana Luisa. They have a lot of cool jewelry and I'm hoping sometime soon to buy a couple more pieces from them. All right, next let's do some food items. So starting with sourdough bread. I love sourdough bread. I even brought a loaf. We, I just bought a new loaf. I've been obsessed with sourdough bread and I really want to learn how to cook it myself even to make fresh sourdough bread. I never really liked sourdough bread. I tried it when I was younger I feel like and I thought it tasted a little weird and I just didn't really like the taste of it but recently especially when I toast it oh my gosh you put eggs on the toast with sourdough bread it's amazing so definitely if you haven't tried it check out some sourdough bread it's not that expensive and it tastes really good in comparison to regular bread also I've heard and I don't know if this is true but I've heard it has a lot of health benefits compared to just like regular bread so definitely check it out another thing I need to grab hold on okay, so another thing I've been obsessed with is friendly farms almond milk creamer in the in the flavor pumpkin spice so this is what it looks like this is just a very generic brand but you could honestly get it from anywhere Pumpkin spice almond milk creamer is delicious and I always thought I didn't like pumpkin spice that much. I don't like pumpkin spice lattes. I don't like pumpkin spice itself. However, this creamer is very delicious. So if you don't like pumpkin spice that much but you want to try it, it just gives like a little and I really love it. So definitely check it out. The rest of the list is kind of all over the place random. So there's some household items, some there's a movie, there's podcast recommendations, reading, TikTok, there's, it's, the end of the list is kind of random. So this is going to be all over the place. But first of all, if you're looking for a movie to watch and you have Disney Plus, Cruella. Let me tell you, I had very low expectations for it. I loved me some Emma Stone, don't get me wrong, but I was expecting the traditional 101 Dalmatians story and this is not what it gave me and I lived for it and I lived for Emma Stone's acting. Oh my gosh. I've watched it three times since I start like I, I watched it the first time and then I made my husband watch it then I made my mom watch it so I have watched it three times and each time I just noticed more things about it. I really love this movie. I can't explain why but it is very good. So if you haven't seen it yet, you have Disney Plus, definitely check out Cruella. I, I thought it was superb. So next obsession is my water bottle. It's currently empty. I just basically finished it. This water bottle I got from Amazon. It is half of a gallon. So two of these equals a gallon. And on one side it has like the times and kind of like motivational things. On the other side it's just kind of like a measuring thing. Um, but anyways, basically the reasons why I love it, I love the color, I love the simplicity of it. I love a handle, I'm a big fan of handles. And I also love the straw. I'm a big fan of straws, especially 
just in general, I feel like I'm the type of person that accidentally spills on myself a million times a day. So having a straw just ensures that extra little bit that I won't spill. I actually convinced my mom to buy one of these because she loved mine so much. I'm just saying, if you're looking for a nice big water bottle, you need to drink more water in a day, this thing will definitely help you because it's definitely helped me. I feel like I drink so much more water with it than I ever did before. So definitely check it out if you're looking for a water bottle. Next obsession is something more baby related. So if you don't have a baby, you can skip this one. I am obsessed with our high chair. So I'll insert a picture of it. It is from the brand Chico. And I really love it because A, the little thing that they sit on, that little insert that goes over the chair is machine washable, which is so easy. She gets stuff all over her constantly. It's so easy just to take it off, throw it in the washing machine, dry it, and then it's ready to go. Also, the tray itself has like a plastic overlay, so it just clips right off. You wash it off, and then you can put it right back on instead of having to unclip the entire tray, wash it, etc. And overall, I just feel like it's been such a positive experience with it. Like, I just feel like she looks super comfortable. It's a good height for her. It's adjustable so she can lean forward or back better. And I just feel like for a high chair, I literally could not ask for more. So I'm very, very happy with it. I will definitely link all of these things down below if I haven't said that yet. Um, everything will be linked in the description box below. So definitely check that out. The next thing is a candle recommendation, which I don't do often because I love all candles. However, this one specifically has really been doing it for me this year. I might even order it next year because I'm about halfway through it at this point. And that is, it's Fresh Aroma Apple Spiced Cider. So, I don't, I'm not normally an apple scent kind of person, but this fall, this has been the best candle and I love the like simplistic design of it. Will it focus? I love the simplistic design of it. I feel like it's so cute and it smells like I literally could just smell it all day and that seems ridiculous, but it smells that good. I, it takes me to like the Christmas tree farm that my family goes to every year. They have hot apple cider and this is exactly what it smells like. All right, next I wrote down some podcasts that I've been really, really obsessed with lately. If you're looking for a good podcast, I have two in particular. So the first podcast that I've really been loving is What We Said, and everyone who knows me and knows this is my favorite podcast. They have episodes that are super lighthearted and fun. They play like a game or they play trivia. They just like talk about life, they give advice. And then they also have more serious episodes. More recently, they've had an episode about money and social pressure around money. They have um, a lot of story episodes, how to pull yourself out of a rut, confession episodes where they read like their followers' confessions and then kind of react to them and talk, to that, talk about them. Um, so they have a lot of really, really good episodes. I would definitely check them out. And then the other podcast that I would recommend that I've really been loving lately is called Goal Digger. Basically, a podcast surrounded by um, more social media-esque however a lot of goal setting and just like motivational business related stuff and even just like small business related stuff i just have been finding a lot of motivation from it i think it's really cool that the host of the podcast jenna kutcher is living in wisconsin from where i'm at i'm at the beginning so don't ruin it for me i think she's from minnesota originally but i think it's cool because i definitely relate to that because i live in wisconsin and I just really have been enjoying it. It's not something I can listen to every single day. However, I do listen to it multiple times a week at this point because I do find it very inspirational. So check it out if you're into like the small business world or anything related to that. Another thing I've been currently obsessed with are our drinking glasses. We love these drinking glasses. They just or We just ordered them from Amazon wasn't anything too complex um, and they definitely delivered. I feel like they have a lot of space in them, deceivingly. They're not super tall, but they 
really hold a lot like if you fill this up with water all the way it is like a lot of water um but we have been loving these i love them for smoothies we have kind of matching glass straws for them we just bought them off of amazon and they were not that expensive so i definitely recommend these glasses if you're looking for new glasses next current obsession which i have not acted on because i'm trying to be better with my money is the facebook marketplace i have never been a facebook marketplace kind of person i just have never really gone on it because i barely go on facebook as it is let alone facebook marketplace so I just never have looked at it however recently there's a lot of baby stuff that we don't need to hold on to for our next baby and i've been trying to find ways to get rid of it and one of those ways has been selling it on facebook marketplace so it's definitely been interesting i discovered through my selling on facebook marketplace that i'm actually obsessed with looking at all the stuff on there there are so many good deals and I can honestly scroll all day and I don't because my husband will not be happy with me if I spend a lot of money on Facebook Marketplace. But it honestly is just so satisfying. There's so many great finds for cheap and a lot of really cool small businesses as well. So I just think it is really cool. Next recent discovery is Aldi. I've never been there until recently and oh my gosh, normally on groceries i spend about 150 dollars minimum maximum 250 dollars it just kind of depends on how long it's been since we've gone for groceries and all these i spend 75 dollars max and they have some really cool off-brand stuff that tastes just like on-brand stuff and i'm so impressed with it so i've really enjoyed shopping there their stuff is really good they have a lot of produce which is awesome and it's super cheap which is always always appreciated next thing that i have been obsessed with is ally online bank savings account so I have the Ally app and I have a savings account through them that is separate from our bank account. Um, we've been using it so we don't touch the money at all. And what I really, really love about Ally's banking process, let me open it up. So what I really love about Ally's online banking, which is the coolest to me, is they have a lot of ways to kind of measure the growth of your savings account. It's really easy to transfer between your bank account and them. Um, and they have these things called buckets and basically you can divide your savings account into different buckets you could have like a travel bucket a emergency bucket a house fund bucket and basically can be saving towards all these different goals and it'll show you how much money you have allotted towards each thing and then it also like has you set goals and kind of as you reach them it checks it off for you so it's really kind of like a fun game i've always liked saving in general however the thing i've hated about my bank's saving account specifically is that i can't really determine what what savings are for my like emergency fund what savings are for my vacation fund what savings are for specifically this fund like i really love that they have these ways of separating out exactly what you're saving for and what they all look like in progress so yeah i definitely enjoy that and i feel like it's it's been really like a pleasant process for our savings and i have been obsessed with it so if you're looking to like have a separate savings account from your banking I definitely re recommend this online savings account. It's, I just really like it, honestly. <laughs> Next thing I wrote, TikTok in parentheses, duh. But specifically certain TikTokers, I've really been obsessed with Bobby Altoff and her alter ego, Alexandria or Alexandra Altoff, I believe. She has two TikTok accounts. One of them is her real account and then the other one is her alter ego. And her alter her alter ego does like satire so she like pretends that her daughter's name is richard and there's all these people who have seen her for like the first time in the comments like oh my god like why would you name your daughter richard blah 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 and she's just like joking with all of them but it's really funny um i also love anna sitar she is the queen of transitions i'm obsessed with watching her videos Another person is Mackenzie Arrington. She does 
makeup and she specifically does like makeup faces so like she does like half and half and she'll do like a Disney villain and a Disney hero or she'll do like this person and this person and it's really really interesting to watch. I also love Emily Mariko. She does food content which I never would think I would like the food TikTok side of things but it is so aesthetically pleasing and so satisfying and it makes me want to be a healthier person so I, I really appreciate it. And then last but not least I really like Caitlin O'Neill. She does um, more motherhood content which of course is only relatable to people who are mothers probably but she specifically is going through an IVF journey and has really opened my eyes to IVF in general like what people go through facing infertility and how hard the journey is and I just really appreciate her content because I feel like it's really uplifting a lot of people and showing them that they're not alone. Another thing that I've been obsessed with is reading. Thank God. I have gotten out of reading since pretty much since I got pregnant to be honest. I During my pregnancy it was so hard for me to sit still because if I would sit still I would fall asleep. And that was without a doubt I would just fall straight asleep. I have not read since right as I was early pregnancy and even after having Livy, I was so exhausted from having a newborn and finally I'm getting back into reading. I just finished the book Conviction and now I am reading Big Magic. Both have been so good. Conviction was one of those ones that took me a while to get into it but once I was I was obsessed and then Big Magic is just a lot more introspective than Conviction which is a fiction novel. So both very interesting and I'm very, very happy to be back into reading because it has been so long. And then last but not least, another thing I have been obsessed with is my new phone. This is the 12 Pro Max. So that is what this phone is. Um, it is an awesome phone. It's a lot bigger than what I'm used to and I don't have a pop socket anymore. So I will be having to get one of those. But I have been obsessed with this phone. I need a new phone so bad. My alarms weren't working properly on my own phone. Jasper! My alarms weren't working properly on my old phone and my sound was really messed up. Even when I would have my phone on speaker, I'd still have to hold it up to my ear like this to try and hear. And it was just, it was past the point where it needed to be. So I'm really happy to have gotten this new phone. And Sean got the 13, so we are on our own phone plan now. But yeah, I really, really have been loving it. So definitely recommend it if you are trying to upgrade. Stop attacking the cat. I hope you guys check out some of these obsessions if you are looking into them or anything like that. I have all the links down below and I definitely recommend checking out every single one of them. They are all my favorite. And without further ado, I think that's it for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next day of November. Bye. But it was obvious like who they would be together. Ooh.